Helen Yee here at King's MMA being joined by the one and only the Italian dream, Mr. Marvin Vittori. I know all your fans can't wait to see you fight Robert Whitaker, hopefully in Paris. Yeah, absolutely. Let's let's do it. I mean, I've been wanting this fight. It was supposed to happen the 11th of June and now, you know, it's been rescheduled for the 3rd of September. I can't wait. This is a fight that I wanted. I want my name. On, I want my, his name on my record. And um, yeah, let's do it, man. Yeah, and I like I mentioned, I know all your fans can't wait. And someone I spoke to recently, Sean Strickland, when I spoke to him about you, he told me that he sees you as a future champion. So how would you describe your guys' relationship and friendship? It's a very weird relationship that me and, uh, me and Sean have, but we respect each other. And, uh, you know, he says a lot of crazy shit. It's hard to stay by his side a lot of times, but... I know him deep inside, he's not a bad guy, you know, and uh, he brings it, we help each other. We've been helping each other for like over five or more years almost. So even the way they asked to fight each other, we were like kind of like weird, you know, because he's one of the guys that gave me more, more work than, than a lot of other guys, and it's the same for him. So, I mean, you know, like, yeah, if when when I believe he's going to win this fight, and uh, if he gets his shots, I'm nothing but happy for him. And uh, even though it's a little bit crazy, you know, I still respect him and, I consider him a friend, so yeah. I mean, good. Yeah, I'm happy that he sees it that way, and I think he's a good, he's a great fighter too. And um, yeah, who knows? Maybe one day we fight for the title. You know? Yeah. Hey, for the title, that would be a great press conference for sure. Sure, sure. But speaking of someone you just fought and have a win over, Paulo Costa, he's scheduled to fight Luke Rockholds, which Luke told the schmo yesterday, maybe sometime in August. What do you make of that matchup? I see Luke Rocco losing the, the few brain cells that he has left in his brain and just going to sleep badly for a few minutes. So, but yeah, I mean, that's, I mean, you know, like Rocco, there are two guys that they're, they're stuck, they're not high right now, you know, so it makes sense that they fight each other, you know. But are you surprised that the UFC offered Paulo Costa another fight at 185, given that, you know, his fight with you, how much he came in weighing? I knew that when, you know, like, some time would have went by and he would have really promised them that he would have done 185 again and that he would have took it seriously and all that they might would have given him another chance you know and that's what they did but i mean that's his business at the end of the day i've heard stories uh, um that you know he goes up to like 250 250 245 250 so he has you know he has to take it like with a lot of time to make 185 but i i mean he did it before and he's, I, I believe, you know, if he takes it seriously, he's going to do it again. So I think he's going to do it this time. I just, is it, the last time with me, everything was pretty crazy. But, you know, it, it, you know, whatever, you know, I, I took the fight. I made it happen. I beat him. And that's about that's about it. Yeah. Now you're moving forward and moving on to Robert Whitaker. But someone else in your weight division, Darren Till, it looks like he and Hamza Chemaev have started kind of a friendship. What do you make of their friendship? Uh, that, I, it's, I mean, you know, friendship is good. You know, this sport can be a very lonely sport, can be a lonely place sometimes. And, you know, at the end of the day, get, being friends is not, there's nothing bad with it. I just saw some of the things that I don't think that they were, like, um, favoring, like, comes out in a sense, like, like tail on his corner, holding pads for him. That was horrible, you know. But, like, it's funny, we even have a group that Sean Strickland did on Instagram. And we were talking all kind of shit on in the on the on the on the group, and Darren Till and Kamza were in it too. And even right after the fight, I said, "Listen, Darren, like, just fucking stop it. You look horrible holding those pads." But um, what did Darren say? He never answered. <laughs> but yeah, we were usual to bully Darren a little bit in that group. Wait, so there's an Instagram group yeah, chat. Yeah, kicked Who's <laughs> yeah, they who kicked, kicked you out? The, uh, Sean Strickland, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, I have some videos of it, it's so fucking funny, like, people sending, like, yeah, are you guys, like, Sean never told you about it, it was supposed to be like a, like a, like a sparring group, and then they kicked me out since I'm not in Vegas all the time, and I didn't show up, oh, that's actually, that's what he said, uh, comes that even said it, like, oh, I didn't show up for the sparring at that time, but I was here, bro, like, well, am I gonna drive, like, five hours just to spar and then come back? Like, and also I didn't plan it. They said like the morning for the, for the afternoon. Plus I got my own shit going on and I, and I want to fight this guy. So I'm not going to spar him. But, uh, so yeah, on that group, they asked, like, they were like, oh, like show up for sparring, but I was here. So then, uh, so yeah, we, we had a group though. And like sending all kind of videos and like, so, <laughs> it's funny. Hey, hopefully Sean Strickland will have to let you back in. 
But I mean, I can definitely get back in if they if I ask. But like honestly, that group was like pretty like crazy first and second. Like uh, he he did it because of like he always. He's always looking for sparrings in Vegas, and I'm here, and that's why. Oh, you're not showing up for sparring, right? You're out. So that's why, basically, I'm out. So it's okay, I'm out. But I was in for a while, and it was super funny. Well, for all your fans who can't wait to watch your return against Robert Whitaker, what would you like to let them know? That we're going to Paris and take that uh, Eiffel Tower and bring it back to Italy. So, third of September, there's going to be fire.